Hello, welcome. This is Sports Tonight. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. It's good to have you join us to talk sports tonight. I'm Austin Okonakwan on the show. That match that is going on between the Super Eagles of Nigeria and the Bafana Bafana of South Africa will get our attention. Um, until the 70th minute, it was Nigeria 1, South Africa 0. But the goal was scored by South Africa, and uh, it was controversial. And so the video assistant referee uh, was called upon. And it seems the video assistant referee was awarded that goal to South Africa. He said, no offside. So it's Nigeria 1, South Africa 1, quarterfinal action right there at the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. So let's see the team that we go on to get it now as, as it is. Match is still open, seventh, second minute now, so none of the teams can afford to make any mistake. But the Super Eagles of Nigeria and their defense will be beating themselves so hard for uh, letting that one go in. We'll talk about the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations and what is going down right there in the quarterfinal uh, fixture. But it's end of the road for Benin Republic. Yes, they lost to the Taranga Lions of Senegal today by a single goal. We'll talk about that one also when we get into the discussion, but I want you to uh, give us updates. Talk to us as regards that match between Nigeria and South Africa. I know you guys are watching and still following the show, so tell me what can Coach Gernot Raw do at this moment to turn things around for the Super Eagles of Nigeria? That will make um, a large part of the discussion tonight on the program. I'll also let you know what's going on right there at the FIBA Africa on the 16th Championship in Cape Verde. Uh, the, the Nigerian team, the Young Tigers, that's what they are called. They have made it to the quarterfinal. They defeated, no, they, they, they brushed Angola and gave a resounding victory uh, again against Algeria today. They won that one 75 to 64. And so they have booked their place in the quarterfinals of that competition. We'll talk about it on the show tonight. I'll also give you updates coming from the Nigeria Football Federation. And of course, I told you at the start of the program, the bulk of the conversation will be on the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations, particularly that match going on between Nigeria and South Africa. It's now 1-1. One, one. Wow, what a story. The video assistant referee, it has come into use at the Cup of Nations. The quarterfinal state CAF told us that it will be introduced. It canceled the goal today scored by Sadio Mani and just awarded a goal. Uh, that was a judged offside at first. The VAR has just judged it as a goal to South Africa. We'll talk about it. I'll also let you know what's going on right there at the 2019 Wimbledon Tennis Championship. What's going on? The top seed, they're not looking back. Uh, let's see if they can make it till the end of the competition. Roger Federer, he overcame a shaky start uh, to join the Grand Slam 100 club. We'll talk about that one also big time on the show. But, but let's talk about what's going on between South Africa and Nigeria. Be part of the program on Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I feel sports. Do you like what you see? This is the time to turn things around, and you might just be part of uh, what can make that happen. So tell me, what can the Super Eagles of Nigeria do uh, to turn things around? It's now 1-1. One, one. It's dicey. It can go anywhere. On Twitter, what channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I think sports, or send us an email to sports tonight at channelstv.com. Let me quickly get into the FIBA Africa Under-16 Championship where Nigeria Under-16 basketball team, they've qualified for the quarterfinal of that Under-16 African Championship that is taking place in Cape Verde. They did it even with a game in hand, but they've played that match today against Algeria and also recorded victory. The Junior Tigers defeated Angola 90 to 57 points. Wow. Take that to the bank. Uh, in the first quarter, they won 20 to 11. In the second quarter, Nigeria won 26 to 12 points. In the third quarter, they won 22 to 19. And in the last quarter, they won 22 to 15 points. The junior, uh, the junior Tigers, they're through, as I said, to the quarterfinals uh, to coast to their first win over Angola at the sixth, on the 16th level. You know, we know Angola, they do so well with their basketball. So, now that we are getting it right at the grassroots, we need to sustain whatever it is that we are doing to keep the momentum going. So that's a good one for the team. The best two teams at the championship will represent Africa at the World Championships next year. They continued from where they stopped against Angola by beating Algeria today, 75 to 64 points. In the first quarter, the junior Tigers won 
24 to 12 resounding victory they got in that one in the second quarter algeria fought but they still lost by 15 to 11 points in the third quarter uh, the angolans fought back and won by 19 to 16 points while uh, nigeria with 20 points though they lost the final quarter 22 to 20 but it was good enough to give them a 75 64 win over algeria so quarter final place secured let's see what they can do going forward at the competition. Back to basketball, still in Nigeria. The Nigeria Basketball Federation, they are fixed Saturday, July the 20th, as the new date, date for the commencement of the 2019 Women's Basketball League. Remember, we told you, so that's a reminder. They've said it must kick off 20th of July. The earlier postponement, according to the Federation, was to um, stay was to allow all clubs in the league complete their registration ahead of the new season. So uh, it was going to be a rush. They said, okay, let's just give them time so that they can complete their registration and they will get it off. The Federation revealed that the home and away format will still be, be used uh, to will still be used as planned, but in different formats because of the financial strength of the club. So it will still be home and away, but they need to explain to us the format and they are considering our financial implications. Teams have been divided into four groups in line with the traditional Atlantic and Savannah conferences. First bank, we start the defense of their title alongside Accra Rival Dolphins, Sunshine Angels, Ekiti Angels, Uluyole Babes, and Ogun Babes right here in Lagos. In Akure, there will be Delta Force, IGP Queens, MFM Queens, Coal City Queens of Enugu, and First Deep Waters. They will fight for one of the eight slots in the national conference phase. So you see, MFM, not just for football, they also have a women's basketball team that is doing so well. We'll monitor that one as it comes. That's talking about the Women's Basketball League has been scheduled to uh, tip off on the 20th of July. So put that down. That's information that you can use. Let's get on, bring the discussion back to football now. We're the Nigeria Football Federation. Um, with, in line with its statutes, uh, set up uh, a member of associations at a committee. Uh, what would that committee do? Uh, they have the responsibility of maintaining excellent relationship with its 44 affiliate bodies. Very, very important. Acting president of the NFF, uh, who is the chairman of the Lagos State Football Association, by Sashiaki Umi, made this known uh, while underscoring the importance of having such a body in order to constantly and firmly keep the affiliate bodies on the same page with the supreme governing body for the game uh, in the country. So, this Nigeria is part of all of the affiliate bodies for football. So, let's bring them close. Let's see what, uh, for instance, they're doing in Qatar that we can, you know, replicate here. Remember, there was a time they had that, that um, partnership with Morocco. I went there, saw how they were doing their football, their league football. So Sheyakumi is saying, let's bring them close to see how we're going to benefit. Akiumi also disclosed that the membership is composed of the current zonal coordinators with himself as chairman, while Ibrahim Musa Guso, Chidi Ofoek, Okenwa, Yusuf Ahmed Fresh, Emmanuel Iba, and Babagana Kali will be members. NFF General Secretary, Dr. Senusi, Mohamed Senusi will serve as secretary of the committee. So let's see what that can do for the development of football in the country. Still with the Nigerian Football Federation and getting um, what is needed to make football right. I remember when um, former Green Eagles captain Christian Chuku and his condition was revealed, the Nigerian Football Federation has said it's about time to start up a foundation to cater for the welfare of ex-international a shout out to uh, Femi Otedola Foundation that stepped in at the time to uh, rescue Christian Chuku. So the Nigerian Football Federation, they have set up the NFF Foundation, which would be saddled with the responsibility of targeting and raising funds for noble programs and legacy projects. The foundation is headed by Mr. Mohamed Edewa with Malan Danla Dibako, uh, and, me, and former uh, director general of the Nigeria Broadcasting Commission as the vice chairman. There are also uh, some other persons in the foundation. What do they hope to achieve with this? Is to make sure that this foundation uh, raise some funds and, of course, 
be there to assist uh, persons that have contributed to the development of football in Nigeria. And as they said, uh, firm up legacy project. So let's see where they can go uh, as regards that one. But it's really, really a good one for the development of football in Nigeria. We're still monitoring that match between Nigeria and South Africa. It's still 1-1. One, one. Uh, so let's see what Coach Genaro can do to turn that around. Let's go on this break now. When we come back, we'll continue with the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.